We're back. Uh, after the malware bytes scan finished, we have 812 pieces of malware. Um, you can call them viruses, whatever you want. It's bad software. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is show the results and we'll see what we have here. We have tro we have Trojan.vundu, so Vundu. We have Zlobs, BHOs, fake alerts, rogue installers, uh, adware agents. Uh, it, the list goes on and on and on. This is the list. Qhost, which is one of the worst ones I've experienced. And it just goes on and on and on and on. So anyway, I have these all selected. Actually, um, Malware Bytes selects them all for you. And then they have a simple Remove Selected button. So it goes through and removes what it can. And then what it can't remove, it'll remove on Reboot. And it pretty much always does remove on Reboot. I haven't seen a, a time where it couldn't remove something yet. And keep in mind, I'm doing this removal in safe mode with networking. And once again, we use safe mode to disable a lot of malware all at once. The computer's very quick, responds very quickly in safe mode. Now you can see how fast it removed 812 pieces of malware. Gives you a nice log. You can pro provide the log to somebody else if you need to. So it says it can't remove a few things here. And these are mostly just registry keys. Um, it says your computer needs to be restarted. So we'll go ahead and restart. I'm going to pause the video for a second. Okay, I just rebooted. I'm going to log back in. And as you can see down here at the bottom, we no longer have any fake system alerts. I think we had two or three. But when I booted in a normal mode, I would have fake system alerts going all the way up to about here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Dr. Webb's Curate and Cure can be downloaded every day. I think they compile it every day so it's always updated. You can run this off a USB stick or whatever you want and it's got a really nice uh, detection database and it is able to remove a lot of stuff. Uh, no need to update. I just did. I just downloaded this a few minutes ago. So I'm going to click start and Kirit's going to do a quick scan. And actually what I'm going to do is stop Kirit from scanning and do a full scan complete scan. Okay, I'll select complete scan and start scanning. I'm going to pause the video for a second and when we come back we'll look at the results from the uh, Dr. Webb scan. Okay, the uh, Dr. Curit uh scan is complete and it found 26 uh, additional infected files. It's uh, deleted almost all of them. It moved a few of them. And then I'm going to tell it to... Some of them it does nothing to. I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, I'm going to do a big old selection. Well, actually... I saw one in here I might not want to do. Okay, yeah, 
Yeah, it's fine. So make a big old selection around these guys if I can. Nah, it looks like I have to do them one at a time. I thought I could delete those, but I don't know. I don't use Kurt enough to know that one. But it looks like it just did nothing with that file. I don't know if it's locked or what, but Kurt's a free little additional tool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close Kurt. Uh, I'm not going to restart at this point. And um, on the next video, I'm going to go ahead and um, pause this video. We're going to move on to installing um, Spyware Doctor with antivirus. So I'll be right back.